T-Mark over on the team one, ready to go as a big old Orca Smorkas. He's, he's got to be excited about them RK buffs coming out in just a few days. 50% uh, missile buffs should be pretty good. A-list over in the Boomkin. We got ourselves Maverick. Probably going to be up first. Looks like I like the set, by the way. It looks so good. We got ourselves in the back reverence of the warlock as well as Chicago ready to go for the enhancement shamancement over for the team one. We got ourselves Nightshade waiting out for the other uh, competitor. Both of them are rogues, both of them stealthy. Of us on the team two. We got Popo back here as well. We got Speed joining in. And we got ourselves Wartho Druid. Try to see if he can make a play as a boomkin. Nightshade just kind of huddling in place, waiting out for Mav. Mav exploring a little bit, but not too much. They're both just making check in the bath like ever, ever fighting the rogue you are fighting rogues it is a rogue stealthy versus stealthy duel you guys have no idea that you've been staring at each other in the same direction by the way i'm liking that tabernacle nightshade i look good on the mug gonna be nightshade getting their opener picking up the eyes trying to see if he can get himself a side of some marathon that's gonna go for the cheap jacket shot massive damage without missing marathon is just backpedaling out of it not really prepared for those bursts and nightshade with an evasion goes in for a blind looking for the reset versus the rogue and this is gonna go for a i think an auto attack i don't think it was able to get a proper reset gonna be better trying to see if they can maybe get a setup with a cheap shot wombo combo big wizards back to back nightshade trying to see if he gets some damage of his own just trying to get aggressive gonna be a vanish out of memory could go for the opener back on nightshade trying to go for a cheap shot but it's super giga dr that's gonna be cheap death out of one of the rogues but doesn't survive it kid shot to follow it looks like nightshade was able to stab him out to the end with A is going to be up next as a boomkin. Kind of giving Nightshade an opportunity to get at least a bit of a reset. At least give an opportunity to catch himself a bit of a go in the opener. With the thorns immediately. Nightshade could go for a kidney shot. A's does have thorns. Does he commit? Cloak of shadows to follow. A's decided to play it a little bit defensive. Try to get himself a heal. Bear for him. Does he play flash cut by any chance? He does not. He is playing the Kyrian Druid instead. So potentially could have himself some big Kyrian burst if he wanted to. Does get himself a full recovery. Looks like he's sipping cup. Potentially to go for the big sippy build. Big Kyrian burst with full celestial army incarnation. Cheat down on the rogue as he does get dots on him with a cheap shot. Try to see if he can escape, but A's does end up locking him down with a full burst. Kyrian Boomkin is a build that I still gotta get a chance to play, man. I haven't actually played that, explored that potential all that much speed gonna be up next versus ace he just pops out of bear form kind of letting the rogue go in stealth if he wants to not really getting aggressive even though he's got full incarnation rolling this way you would want to just take that momentum and capitalize him to the rogue ace just letting his cooldowns kind of tick out letting the rogue get a proper opener good road as he goes in could go for a big vendetta he's playing the sepsis no he's in that road so he's got himself a little bit more of a sustained damage big bleeds get a shot to ace could be Vendetta. Ace playing it defensively, but the dots are just rotting him down. No Vendetta, nothing. He's just melting either way. Cloak. Is, oh my god. Cyclone of Speed just lands the dots do work. He didn't even burn the Vendetta. He just popped all the bleeds on him and let him do work with that Shiv, which is absolutely brutal. Chicago up next versus Speed with the Earth Elements. A kidney shot by the road. Committing the Vendetta. It's going to be Chicago tricking it out with a big old chain of armor speed with a cloak of shadows and evasion. Trying to see if he can tank up against as much damage. But Chicago does it, but a advantage as he realizes that his units may not be enough smoke bomb to give him a little bit of a cover trying to dive back into stealth if he can at all does go for a mutilate as chicago closes the gap but speed is limited to what he can do blind to chicago no ticket available the earth elemental does get stunned up too wait what did the earth elemental get stunned with wait so you blinded chicago i guess he had a kid to shot for the um, um, elemental I guess so. Chicago out the open does have the trusty earth Ellie for the big bolstering defensive. But unless he can catch up to the rogue, pick up the eyes and find him, the rogue should be able to get himself a proper reset. At least it's not a subtlety rogue who just gets default healing while in stealth. But he is going to have to burn that sippy cup back to back just to make sure that he can recover. Stone on Chicago does get trapped up in a static totem, but those dots are just doing work. Wait, he actually might just end up taking him out with a single kidney shot. What was that kidney? Does he play deeper strat kidney? He may be playing deeper stratagem kidney chat. I think he just may be playing the longest kidney of his life. See if I try to see if he might be able to catch up to the rogue. Shadow step around the corner as the rogue is looking for a reset. Has advantage in case he needs to, but I think he's trying to see if he can hold it off as best as possible. Has the blind for Seaverk in case he wants to use that. He could potentially set it up. Seaverk with that halt of time could set up onto the rogue. Does get him out with a barrage. Slow is it going to be permanent. You can't really escape him. Try to see if he can door shadows. Does get disrupted. Polymorph, but he's going to be able to blink it. Missiles to follow speed. Then he's going to go 
for that blind to trick it out of Seawork. Just try to see if we can pressure out the work. Try to see if we can maybe destroy it with that port with a vent here. Couldn't quite do it. The Nova does get about the open. Massive blast on his speed. He just has no health whatsoever. That's not just magic. He just got you dead. That's a secure kill, right? Stealth for the rogue. Wait, no. Touch of the magic is probably gonna. Wait, does Touch of the magic even do anything when you stealth? Maybe. Maybe that's what got him out of stealth just now. That was so close. Oh my god, there was just so much damage. That was an incredible amount of burst with this arcade. Oh my goodness. Could speed recover though? This man might actually be able to make it happen. As the all the time for Seaburg, but he does reset himself a little too early when he was on top of the rogue. But he, he wouldn't know. He wouldn't know that he was right on top of him. Picking up another set of eyes. Looking to potentially get around the rogue. He does need to find him out in the open. Get some blasting damage. And the speed does have full vendetta already. That's an ice buck available for Seaburg. That silence opener is going to give him a little bit more opportunity to at least get a go. Where Seaburg building up calm points off of that cheap shot. And Seaburg waddling after speed. Smoke wants to give himself a little bit of cover. Seaburg does not have an ultimate to set up. But he's going to keep blasting and keep barraging that Kevin Slime in order to give himself a little bit of movement to work with. Flash kept on the speed. Touch of the magic doesn't have to rot him. And speed does not really have much to work with. Missiles is going to be blasted. Just ripping him to shreds right now. Atomizing the boy. Door shadows around the corner. So he just trying to see if he can maybe maintain himself for a little bit here. With mobility. Touch of the magic slamming down on a big barrage to follow the kid. Shot of Seaburg has a blink for Another barrage is going to be over for the rogue. Does fire blast over the end oh my goodness that rogue actually lived for quite a while that rogue actually did do a little bit of work Ulf is going to be up next versus Seaburg with the resonator immediately Seaburg has the ultimate time in order to recover as much health as possible potentially could maybe put himself in a better spot does go for a food immediately with the missiles right after he realizes that Ulf is out the open definitely knows he's going to see him eating food he has to get aggressive in biz, try to get whatever food he can, but he knows all of his is going to keep moon firing him. As soon as that happens, just needs to get aggressive. At least you get in some slows onto all of his bars. Get up really early for the druid. Maybe a little early before Seabrick and one committing damage. So potentially could be defensive that all of his will not have available at a later time. Ultra time up for Seabrick. No, it's called batch for all for a while. Seabrick can actually get some damage happen. And he got himself a haze buff, potentially a crit buff for reversa, most like reversa. Maim does have the ultimate time, potentially could be a skull badge by office, wouldn't be able to. Could potentially get silenced and rooted out in the open if he continues using abilities. Office does go turn to bear for a second, try to get a skull badge from Seaburg. Big bleeds are up and running. Seaburg is gonna go for an ice buff. Office does have mirror images on him. Eventually, he's gonna silence and put him in a Oh! Put him in a bad spot with a silence, can heal himself, can do a power shift out of it easily. Oh my goodness, and again, Seerik and a Pertier to actually get a kill. With Popo going to be up next among the Necrolord variety versus Seerik. At least give an opportunity to catch up a little bit of healing and give him as much of an honor duel as humanly possible. Just try to give him a humane way of going down. No ice buck available for Seerik, so it's really going to be a tough match. All the time and proper uses of all the time as well as in business to escape is the only thing you can really do. Maybe landing crowd control into Popo, controlling him with roots as well as with the Mirrors of Torment which could be reflected by Popo with the Diffuse Magic. It just puts it in such a bad spot for Seaworth to work with. He basically just got to buy himself a little bit of time. Not playing the Night Fate does not give you good cooldown reduction. Night Fate at least gives you a little bit of cooldown reduction to get your Ice Buck back a little bit quicker so you can play more defensively. But this is just a tough match, man. Going to be a Nova by Seaworth. Trying to get a touch of the Magic. But he knows that Poe is going to go for some damage. Going to be immediate uh, blink out of that stun. Does have all time ready. It's going to be big. Big, big, big damage out of the touch of the magic. Actually, just blasted Bo. He doesn't care for the defenses. He just continued to blast them through and defuse magic. Wait, could that still be the... Oh, my God. What is that, boys? What was that? Oh, my goodness. He just didn't care. He popped the defensive, right? He popped defuse magic. 60% damage magic reduction. My goodness, he just kept blasting your care. <laughs> See, Rick just did not care. And he's just trying to see if he can take the image into war. That is a Kyrian stealing his Kyrian buff. But he doesn't have an ice block. All the time, does want him back in a good spot, though. And he's just like, Kyrian buff, just see if he can blast back at Warthros. Warthros eventually is going to get silenced and rooted. Does get himself silenced. Bear form, new power shift. Does get himself free into the regen. That's given so many procs to see work. It's not even funny. <laughs> That's a car my mind joke, too. I know, right? Man, this is where you got to pop every defensive. <laughs> These, I think he pressed Diffuse, which usually deals really well with magic damage, right? Very well. Though the problem is that touching the Magi lasts longer because of the Mage Seer set. It lasts uh, quite a long while. And that touch of the Magi outlasted Diffuse magic. He thought, okay, I'm going to pop Diffuse. Usually, that's more than enough 
to counter and shut down any magic burst, anything, right? Warlock popping big chaos bolt set you're diffused, you're set. Mage, uh, fire mage combusting here, diffused, you're set. With arcane, that just imagine it lasted a little bit longer. And Seawork was like, you know what? I'm gonna keep building. I'm gonna keep building. I'm gonna keep building. I'm gonna keep building because it's gonna erupt way, 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 way after his defenses are gone. Maybe that was the play. Bash on the Seawork. Try to see if he can get a blink for it. Warthrus, it should be very, very limited on what he can cast. Eventually, his casts are gonna sound some and rhythm. Trying to get maybe with a cyclone. Trying to set up a cyclone over Seawork. That's actually not a bad idea. Force the Seawork behind the pillar. And the Seawork goes behind the pillar. It does stop the cast, but that barrage. Oh my god. He just said it a moment or two. Oh my god, Seawork. Oh. I didn't even think it was going to be a mage 1v4 this game. First game of the day. That's crazy. Yes, he used to defuse our K power. That's true. That's true. Maybe that's what the thing is. You just got to make sure to press it on defuse. But man, I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I don't think uh, Seawork needed our K power against that monk, though.